Welcome to Morning Verse with Dr. Jerry the First, episode 250. Today is Monday, the 21st day of May, 2018. My names are Dr. Jerry the First Oguzie, and today I am speaking on 10 ways to beat procrastination. Procrastination, that is one thing, one habit that has kept a lot of men in abeyance. They are not able to achieve their aims, not able to move forward, not able to reach the height that they are supposed to reach. So, we will continue to talk about it until all men come to the full realization that it is in them to actually beat procrastination. So, is there something in your life that you've been putting off? Maybe you're planning to start a big project next month. Perhaps you keep saying you're going to do jump on on your, on your latest business idea as soon as you have more time. Or you could just be putting off cleaning up the house or washing the car. Even if you're putting off something that seems like a little thing, it's not the size of what you're procrastinating about that's the problem. It's that you're giving energy to a bad habit that will grow and strangle your success. So, if you have a tendency to put things off, here are 10 things you can do to beat procrastination and enjoy a happy, more fulfilling life. 1. Make a decision. This is my favorite way to overcome procrastination. Decision is the opposite of procrastination. Just like right and left, up and down, hot and cold, there's procrasti to procrastination and there's decision. To become more decisive, get, think and grow rich and re read the chapter on decision every day for 30 days. This will go a long way to helping you act quickly on your ideas. <clears throat> 2. Write it out. Set aside a little time and follow this three-step process. Get a sheet of paper and write out how you currently feel about procrastination. Elaborate on how you procrastinate, what you do, when you do it, and all that. Take out a second sheet and ask yourself, what would be the exact opposite of that? Then on the top of the page, write, I am so happy and grateful now that, and below it, write out detailed statements that are opposite to the things you wrote on the first sheet. When you're finished, burn or shred the first sheet of paper. Then read and rewrite what you wrote on the second sheet every day until you notice you are no longer procrastinating. Three, chop it up. Sometimes we procrastinate because we don't know where to begin. Break large projects into milestones and then into small actionable steps. 4. Quiet your mind. This might surprise you, but meditation is one of the most effective ways to get rid of self-sabotaging behavior, including procrastination. 5. Stop trying to be perfect. Perfectionism is an illusion that slows you down and prevents you from reaching your goal. Act quickly, doing the best you can. 6. Partner up. Find an accountability partner so you can help each other commit to and follow through on the things you each need to do to move toward your goals and dreams. 7. Take a closer look. Revisit what you are putting off and ask yourself why you have it on your list. Be honest with yourself. Maybe you are putting it off because it's something someone else wants you to do, but it's not really important to you. If it's not something you really want to do or should do, or something that will move you closer to your goal, stop wasting energy on it and remove it from your list. 8. Put it on your gratitude list. Tomorrow morning, write down how grateful you are that you, you started the project and it's going well. 
Write it in the present tense and feel like you already achieved it. You see, expressing gratitude isn't only for things that have already happened. Being grateful for things that you want and expect to happen raises your vibration and thereby helps you get the result you want. 9. Reward yourself for taking action. When you accomplish something you want to put off, reward yourself. Take a coffee or tea break, go to the movie or eat at a restaurant you've been wanting to check out. Do whatever will make you feel good about overcoming the procrastination. 10. Adjust your attitude. Procrastination stops you from winning and realizing many great goals and joy in life. But even a small shift in your attitude can make a big difference in your results. So every day ask yourself, what environment do I want to create for my life to really thrive? Procrastination can't survive in an environment like that. There's no magic pill that will put an end to procrastination forever. But these tips will help you with take concrete steps toward achieving more and feeling a lot better about yourself. Until I come your way again, this is Modern Vibes with Dr. Jerry the First. This program is powered by Top Top Media and Communication Nigeria. All rights reserved. Thank you for listening to this broadcast today. It would please us to no end if you continue to visit our podcast. And so to be able to do that, kindly click on the red subscribe button towards your right to subscribe to our channel. In the same vein, also click on the bell beside the subscribe button so that you can always receive the notification for any new podcast we upload. Also give us a thumb up to like this podcast. These help us to grow. And do help us share the podcast to your friends in the different social media sites you belong to. Click on the share tab just below the podcast and share directly from there. The full text of this podcast is on our blog. And would you want to read it, kindly visit the blog. We have a Facebook page where we also post our podcast on a daily basis. If you're on Facebook, kindly like our Facebook page. The links to our blog and our Facebook page are in the description box right below. Thank you for your attention. Do have a very nice day.